apologies can repair pretty much anything. But there's a caveat to that. Sincere apologies can repair just about anything. But some things, apologies just cannot cover. Don't give me nothing fake. If it's not sincere, I don't want it. Apologizing says, I value you, I understand that I have wronged you, and I want to make it better. I care about you, I heard you, and I want this relationship to be restored. Even if you didn't do it, apologizing will bring the situation peace. And apologizing for something you don't do shows that you value that relationship more than the issue that took place. Always choose the relationship over the need to be right. People who have a hard time apologizing normally feel like they didn't do nothing wrong, or they just don't care. Me, on the other hand, I am not so good at apologizing because many times I meant to do what I did. I'm initially just sorry for how it made you feel, but I think about what I do before I do it. Even if you're not sorry for what you did, apologizing for how you made someone feel is also important because we all remember when people said mean things to us. Words and actions do have a lasting effect on people. All roads to redemption start with an apology. An apology can restore someone who's broken. It's really easy for us to accept apologies, but what about giving them? Giving an apology is much harder than accepting apology. Apologies require 10 things. And I quote, humility, compassion, respect, connection, contrition, a heart seeking peace, ownership of your actions, passion, the willingness to change, and a purpose or end result. These 10 elements are common sense, things that all of us should know but don't necessarily practice. Apologizing matters because it helps the hurt party to begin the healing process. It can help them bring closure. I don't know why people like to say that you don't need closure, but some people do need closure. And if you've done something to hurt someone, it is important that you learn to apologize quickly. The comfort of receiving apology can be felt physically as well as emotionally. It's more than just about you. An apology must have a goal that doesn't include massaging your own ego. Saying, I'm sorry for talking to you like that, but you shouldn't have did this or you shouldn't have did that, is for your own ego. It doesn't help the person you're apologizing. I call that a backhanded apology. Apologies have always been hard for me because my parents used to make me apologize to kids when I was younger. And although that is a good practice, I always knew what I did, I did it on purpose. <laughs> I always knew that what I did, I did it on purpose. So it was hard for me to fake apologize. But when you give a sincere apology that really has meaning behind it, it can change a lot of things. In giving apologies, we must ask the person for forgiveness admit that you've done them wrong and ask them how you can make it better. Acknowledging that you will try not to do it again will begin to bring healing to them. And the person might not always accept your apology, but once you apologize, you can get it off of your heart and move forward. The words I'm sorry can bring forth so much restoration. And if you can't apologize to people, you're doing everyone a disservice around you. You know how you felt when you received apologies from people, so it's important to know how to apologize quickly and sincerely. It'll make your life easier, I promise.